Hello everybody, this is Dave Krug, and I am going to teach you in some videos about the very, very basics of Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is a very, very important program for you to learn, especially if you're going to be a business major or an accounting major. But no matter what you do in school, you'll be glad you learned this. Okay. Now you might already know some Microsoft Excel. Um, and uh, if you do, great. This is probably very basic to it. But let me show you some things in this short video. First of all, if you want to download uh, Microsoft Excel to your computer, um, you can do that as a JCCC student. Um, first of all, just go to the JCCC webpage and put download Excel in the search box. And that'll take you to here. And then I think you can go to here and it says Office 365 Student Advantage and at the bottom there's instructions on how to do that. Okay, so I would really, really encourage you to do that. That's a great benefit of um, being a student at JCCC. Okay, but once you have that downloaded to your computer, the way you open up Excel is go to your little search window down at the bottom left and type in Excel and this should pop up right here. Now I've actually, I actually did a right click on here and pinned this to my taskbar. You can see it down there um, so that I can just click on that each time to open it up. But once you open that up, you're going to get something that looks like this. Let's talk about this. We're going to do the very, very basics of Microsoft Excel. This is a spreadsheet. Okay. Now, a spreadsheet is a list of rows and columns. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is like column A. This is column B, column C, column D. This is row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Okay? Each one of these cells, like this is a cell, and this is the cell reference of D5. You can see it right there. And you can also see the column and the row heading. Now that cell can contain some sort of data, like 54. Okay, so this 54 is in the cell reference of D5. Okay, now the way you move around in Excel is well, you can certainly use your mouse to click to a cell. Okay, or once you're in a cell, you can use your down arrows and your up arrows and your side arrows and all that sort of stuff to move around, okay? Um, you can also use tab, which always moves you ahead to the next column, or you can move, or you can use shift tab to move you backwards, okay? There's a million ways to move around and it's not that hard, okay? Now, when you are entering data, let's just enter a little bit of data, you might make a mistake, okay? Now, I let's say I should have entered 1,002 into that cell. Well, there's different ways that you can edit that without having to retype the whole thing. You could just go up, get into that cell, and then click up here and backspace, and let's say it was supposed to be 1,002, okay? Or what you could do is you could push F2, and then you're in the cell itself, and you could back up and put whatever was supposed to be in there. F2 is the edit button. Okay. So let's say that, um, so that is how you edit a cell. Okay. Now, one couple things I want to show you real quick. Um, see this little button right here? That is undo. So let's say that, I had all this data and let's say I accidentally deleted it. Oh no, it is gone. I don't know what I did, but it's gone. I don't, what I push, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just go to the undo button and it will undo whatever you just did. Because every now and then I'll screw up my data. And this happens in Microsoft Word too. I'll screw up my data and like, I don't even know how to undo it because I don't know what I did. Doesn't matter. Just do that little undo button. 
And you can push that a number of times and back up in time, uh, uh, you know, several instances, okay? So when you make a screw up in Excel, you can just push that undo button and it's just like it never happened. Wouldn't it be nice if life had an undo button like this? So um, know about the undo button. The other thing I'll say is this, is when you have a file, if you wanna save it, you just go to file, you click up here on file, and you go to save as, and you know that's how you save a file. Uh, you can, if you have an existing spreadsheet, you can open one up. Now those are very, very basics. And if you don't understand the basics of how to create a file and save it on your desktop and attach it as an email or attach it into an email and those sort of things, those are very, those aren't even Excel basics. Those are just computer basics. What you need to do then is go to the Academic Achievement Center at JCCC and drop by and tell them you need some basics on opening up files, saving files, attaching files to emails, and those sort of things. But this is the very, very basics of Excel that I am showing you. Now, if you ever need to delete information, you can just simply go to that cell and push the delete button on your computer. Or what you can do, and let's do the undo button. I'm gonna back it up and put that information back in there. Or what you could do is you could just put your mouse right there, hold the left button down, release the left button. And now you have what is called a range in um, Excel. And you could just highlight that whole range and push delete and it's gone, okay? The other thing I'll tell you is as you enter numbers into Excel, if you push enter, it will by default go to the cell below. Okay, so these are the very, very basics of Microsoft Excel. And kind of play around with that a little bit, and we will build on this in future lessons.